awesome. One round. Give him a good round of applause. Looks great. I invite our audience at this time to stand or remain standing if you are, as Mr. Hunt leading, will lead our band through the National Anthem. to the Lapeer West High School Class of 2012 Commencement. It's an exciting time, I tell you, looking from this vantage point, everybody looks great. Graduates, let's have a seat, please. My name is Tim Zeman, I'm the principal of Lapeer West High School, and again, I proudly stand before you, this is outstanding. Look at the people you have in front of you, it's, uh, it's quite an honor to be here as far as I'm standing. I would like to introduce some of the several guests we have on the stage this afternoon. It's my privilege, I guess, to uh, recognize our school board members. We have President Mrs. Peggy Bush, Vice President Mr. Gary Oyster, Secretary Mr. John Nugent, Trustees Mrs. Denise Becker, Mr. Mike Keller, and Mrs. Wendy Byer. Also joining us on the stage is our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Matt Wandry. I would also like to uh, say we have a couple of senior teachers on the stage here, as well as our, our other staff members who will be, you'll be hearing from a little later, Mrs. Shelley Hill and Mrs. Kristen Wilcox, who will be participating in the ceremony today. Next, in the very back, we've got our Lapeer West staff members who are participating in the commencement. And again, they're very honored, as we all are, standing here in front of you. Also on the stage, we've got Mr. Dean Rothkip, Mrs. Mary Hasslinger, Mr. Mike Smith, not on the stage, but definitely in the back. Uh, Mr. Rothkip has done a wonderful job of arranging this program today, so thank you, Mr. Rothkip, for your efforts. It's worth a clap, it definitely is. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to recognize the parents of two members of the senior class whose lives were tragically taken from us at different stages of their high school careers. The family of Jessica Bannon, Mother Donna, Father Glenn, Brother Zachary are with us tonight in the back. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Also, also we must keep in mind the family of Anna Bader, Mother Catherine, Mary Catherine, Father William, Sister Alicia, who was unable to be with us tonight, but we do need to keep them in our thoughts as well. On the stage in front of me, we have two flower arrangements. Uh, in the classmates' memories. And I don't bring their names up, I don't bring the names of Jessica and Anna up to create sadness, I really don't. I only feel that this ceremony would be incomplete without some men mention of them, and I know you are with, their, with that with me. Jessica and Anna are members, and we're members of the class of 2012, they always will be. You are in our thoughts and prayers, always. And again, thanks for being here. Now let's get on with the show. Every year, and again, this is going to be uh, one of those drone, probably little talks, but I'm going to do it anyways. Each year in schools across America, we celebrate commencement. The graduates sitting here before you this afternoon are being recognized for completing a long and difficult journey. And even as graduates face a new and largely unknown set of challenges in their future, our focus for the moment is on this celebration, recognizing Lapeer's best and brightest. These indeed are our communities, our states, our countries, and our nation's leaders for the future. 
At this time, I just want to share just a few words with the class of 2012. You know, and because I believe all the cap and gown wearing, toe tapping, get me the heck out of here seniors, that's all they're going to hear from me is blah, blah, blah. Believe in yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Follow your dream. Blah, blah, blah. It takes the village. I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to offer a little bit of advice. No, not even advice. I'm going to throw a quick story that hopefully, uh, after the fact, you'll have some time to reflect. The story I'm going to tell t revolves around the theme, Life is an Echo. And it's funny because I had another speech already prepared, just a short little blurb, but I had one. And my sister, you know, I was on Facebook this morning. Not that I get on Facebook, but I was on there. And uh, she, she sends all these little quote things. Now, I'm not much into sending out stuff on Facebook, but I definitely like to hear the quotes. Well, the quote she sent me was this, Life is an Echo. And it just resonated with me to the point where I said, you know, I've got to go up and readjust and, and throw this together. So here's what I've done. It's a little story. A son and his father are walking in the mountains, not the mountains in Lapeer. We're talking mountains, like maybe out in Colorado or somewhere. Suddenly a son falls, hurts himself, and screams, ah, yells it loudly. Well, to his surprise, he hears the voice repeating somewhere in the mountains, ah, back at him. Curious, he yells, who are you? He receives the answer, who are you? Angered at the response, he screams, coward. And of course, coming back, coward. He looks at his father and asks, what the heck's going on? Now, Joe Shaner, I know you're out there, and he said, what the heck's going on? I know that wouldn't be your choice of words, but that was his. The father smiles and says, my son, pay attention. And then he screams to the mountains, I admire you. Coming back, I admire you. And again, the man screams, you are a champion. And coming back comes the words, you are a champion. The boy is surprised, but does not understand. Then the father explains. People call this an echo, but son, this is really life. It gives you back everything you say or do. Our life is simply a reflection of our actions. Now, and we at West have been trying to throw that at you guys for a long time, four years at least. If you want more love in the world, you need to create more love in your heart. If you want more confidence in your team, you need to improve your confidence. This relationship applies to everything, in all aspects of life. Life will give back everything you have given it. So again, keep that in mind, please. Class of 2012, I want you to revel in your accomplishment. I didn't say rebel. I said rebel, R-E-V. V as in victory, E-L. Rebel in your accomplishment. And take the time to thank those of you here in the audience that have been instrumental in helping you achieve this milestone. It goes without saying, don't forget your parents, your loved ones, when you are passing along words of appreciation to all those that have been influ influential in your accomplishment. Congratulations. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce our school superintendent, Mr. Matt Wandry, who will offer a few remarks as well. Mr. Wandry. Thank you, Mr. Zeman. At this time, I would ask all members, past and present, of the U.S. military to please stand. and all those graduates who are planning on entering military service. It is thanks to these true patriots that we're able to gather on days like this in celebration of the time-honored and sacred tradition of honoring our nation's graduates. Thank you for your sacrifice and service. You may be seated. Parents, family members, friends, faculty, administration, members of the Board of Education, and honored graduates. What a fantastic celebration of our community's youth. I'm humbled to share this special occasion with all of you. Today we honor the graduating class of 2012. Seniors, you join decades of Lapeer graduates who've passed through our doors before you and have gone on to make significant contributions to our world. The accomplishments of your class are many, but undoubtedly will pale in comparison to the successes you're certain to enjoy as you begin the next phase of life. A great school, a great district, a great community, and even a great nation are comprised of great individuals 
Our country is certainly founded in the ideal that individual accomplishment and achievement knows no boundaries. Something cannot be wholly great without the contributions, efforts, and ingenuity of the individual. Your accomplishments as well as your failures all combine to provide you with unique life experience. Each of you will face a crossroads, and it's my hope that you may someday draw from your high school experiences, both good and bad, to help you navigate the sometimes bumpy seas that are certain to lie ahead. Father Solanus Casey once said, don't pray for an easy life, but rather pray to be a strong person. He knew a perfect life was something that even prayer could not guarantee. But by strength of character, we can weather any storm. Adversity is not just a possibility. It is a certainty. Remember, it is not adversity itself that makes you unique or special, but rather how we respond in the face of challenges that will set you apart. We as a community and a nation face many of these challenges, but hope springs eternal. And with that, a new era begins today as you enter the world to develop new and creative solutions. In a national address, President Ronald Reagan once reminded us that each generation goes further than the generation preceding it because it stands on the shoulders of that generation. You will have opportunities beyond anything we've ever known. My solemn prayer for you as you leave today trying to get to that class of life on time is that you remember life is a series of choices and the ones you make now will forever define the person you become. Consider this. Success. Webster defines it as something turning out to be as it was hoped for. But success is more than just hope, more than just wishing. It is a committed choice, not a gift or a stroke of luck. A life of purpose is one spent overcoming obstacles, accomplishing difficult tasks in the face of adversity, looking back and being able to say with confidence like you are today, I earned it. I want to thank our dedicated faculty and staff who have devoted their time and efforts to you as a class. And during this time of celebration, also remember, as Mr. Zeman reminded you, to take the opportunity to tell your families just how thankful you are for their support, love, and encouragement. It has been our distinct pleasure to serve you, and on behalf of the Central Office Administration, Lapeer Community staff, and the Board of Education, I wish you nothing but the best, Class of 2012. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Board of Education Secretary, Mr. John Nugent. Thank you, Mr. Wandry. Class of 2012, what an exciting day this is. Before I begin, I'd like to take a moment and acknowledge a few participants that make this day possible. Class of 2012, please thank and give a round of applause for the Lapeer West teachers and staff. I know you appreciate these people now, but over the years when you look back, you will see the real difference they made in your lives and will come to appreciate them even more. It's no secret that a public education has taken a lot of heat recently. Nonetheless, I believe public education still offers the best education. And you, class of 2012, are the proof. Although today ends a long journey of achieving your high school diploma, soon you will be wondering how it went by so quickly. It seems like just yesterday so many of you were just starting school. In the blink of an eye, you have grown into amazing young women, young women and men. I am inspired by the futures I see before me. As I prepared for the speech, I thought about the many life lessons I might be able to offer. For your sake, I have narrowed my list down to three things. Number one, stay involved with your community. You are the future and you can make it a better place. Your skills, creativity, and create, and can create positive change. Help out a neighbor, join your local Kiwanis, maybe even run for school board. Shake up the world a little, come up with new ideas, and make a difference. Number two, never stop learning. You hear this a lot, but it's true. Whether it's taking a college course, attending a trade school, or simply reading a book, regardless of your goals in life, never stop asking questions, never stop wondering, and never stop learning. Promise me you'll become lifelong learners. 
And finally, as you move forward and start to answer the big question, what do I do now? I suggest to you, find out what your passion is. What is it that drives you? And when you know what it is, go after it and chase that passion. There is so much to be said about doing what you love. And when you, make that, when you find that passion, make it your life and live your dream. Class of 2012, as I close my remarks, I ask one final thing. I have high expect expectations of you guys and hope that you will return often and let me know of your great achievements as you move forward. Class of 2012, I am so proud of you. You've made it, you deserve it today, and you are the future. Stay the course and follow your dreams. Congratulations, Class of 2012. Thank you, Mr. Nugent. Now I'd like to invent the, invite the Lapeer West Choir under the direction of Mr. Kaiser, Mr. Tom Kaiser, to the, to the risers to sing. I don't know why you say that. 
Thank you, Mr. Kaiser and choir. Excellent job. Now at this time, it's always a great thing. Hearing our kids um, sing and perform, and then we'd get uh, the opportunity to hear our kids speak. And at this time, we've got two seniors who are going to give their addresses. Our first senior to present will be Miss Gina Cavanaugh. So Gina, please come forth. Good evening. To those of you that don't know me, my name is Gina Cavanaugh, and I've attended Lapeer, West, Lapeer Schools my entire life. Here at West, I like to think of us as a, as a family. Like all families, we've had our fair share of ups and downs. Not only have we succeeded, winning championships and titles, but we've also experienced tragedy and loss. I'd like to think that the amount of helping hands outnumber the tears we've shed. While it's a shame we have people missing here today, I know that they've gone on to something better. And if they were here today, I'm sure they'd tell us to cherish each moment and live our lives to the fullest. In the past 18 years, there's been a lot of growing. While some of us blossom faster than others, sitting here today means we finally all bloomed. So take this time to look around you and remember all of those that you've grown up with. We might all feel independent, but most of us didn't come this far on our own. You should consider yourself lucky if you've had someone there for you over the years, whether it be a family member or a friend, a teacher or a coach. They deserve your recognition. We've already been through so much in our young lives, but just because we're all grown up and going out into the real world, it doesn't mean that we can't still ask for help. In just a short time, we'll be going off to college, joining the armed forces, or entering the workforce. At this time, I hope you remember the things you've learned at West. And I'm not just talking about the course material, but those lessons that extended beyond the textbooks. Because high school is over, I hope you learned something. Even though we spent the last four years wishing we'd be anywhere but here, I'm going to miss this old school. While the memories aren't all positive, I wouldn't trade my time here for anything. Because without the people that attend West, it's just brick and mortar. Instead, I found a second home, and within it, a family. Thank you, Gina. Our next speaker, Ms. Abby McGowan. Welcome parents, staff, and classmates. My name is Abby McGowan, and first of all, I would like to say congratulations, class of 2012. We made it through high school. Some of us did not believe we would be here, but look where we are now. Over the years, we have grown together, cried together, laughed together, and have shared together. This class as a whole has been through a lot. We lost two classmates very close to us, Jessica Bannon and Anna Bader. Both incidences were very hard to get through, but we made it. Do you know why? It is because we stayed together like a family and helped each other through these rough times. During these trying times, people that we didn't normally talk to were there to give us support to those who needed it. We saw those who were hurt and did everything in our power to help them. As we graduate high school and move on to do greater things in life, we cannot just think about ourselves. We need to continue to care about others, especially in their time of need. In fact, when you help someone, it makes you feel better, and it ends up helping you whether you realize it or not. I know from personal experience 
that I love seeing that smile on someone's face when I deliver food to their house, or even just give them a small compliment, which helps their self-esteem just a little bit more. It all helps. Many adults believe that media perpetuated stereotype that teenagers are selfish and hardly care about others and their feelings. We need to put our best foot, foot forward, show the world who we are, and that we care for more than ourselves. It starts with you, and it doesn't even take that long to make a difference. There are over 250 of us sitting in this graduating class. Just think of all that we can do. We can make a difference. We need to show the world what the class of 2012 has to offer. Together, we can affect the world. This is our time, our time to shine. Thank you, and good luck. Let's have one big round of applause for both Gina and Abby. It takes a lot of guts to get up there. Great job. Well, we got to hear a couple people speak. At this time, now we're going to hear a couple gals perform. We have two young ladies, Miss Lindsay Aitman, Miss Kaylee McCarthy. We're going to sing Thank God for Hometowns by Miss Carrie Underwood. Thank God. 
Great job, Lindsay and Kaylee, along accompanied by Mr. Kaiser. Thank you so much. Well, this is the uh, part of the show I think everybody's been waiting for. Here we are, the highlight. Members of the Board of Education, Mr. Matt Wandry, on behalf of the staff of Lapeer West High School, I hereby affirm that these students in front of you fulfilled every requirement of the state of Michigan and the Lapeer Community School District and are therefore entitled to receive the diplomas conferred to them on this fine day. We'll have senior class teachers, Mrs. Kristen Wilcox and Mrs. Shelley Hill, They'll be the ones reading the names of our graduates as they're presented their diplomas by Mr. Van Wandry, members of the school board, and myself. Honor Guard, please come forth. Jeffrey Robert Acton. Austin James Allison. Ashley Elizabeth Anderson. Harrison James Andrezik. Whitney Breanne Avenal. Christina Louise Ayotte. Melanie Rochelle Bedore. Rebecca Rose Balsamo. Robert Lee Bancroft. Caitlin Rose Becker. Brianna Morgan Benjamin. Stephanie Joe Bennett. Autumn Jean Lorene Berry. Dakota Christian Berry. Karamia Rose Bertoni. Nicole Vivian Betts. Kenneth Garner Ball Jr. And Justin David Body. Carly Jo Bond. Kyle Edwin Booz. Tyler Reed Booz. Eric Harvey Bosky. Taylor Nicole Bosky. Yeah. 
Daryl Thomas Bougie. Kelsey Elizabeth Boyer. Caitlin Adelia Bay Brink. Stephanie Louise Brown. Jessica Marie Bryant. Sarah Beth Brzezinski. Miranda Lee Burrell. Autumn K. Burgett. Miles London Burrell. Katie Stevens Fired. Caitlin Nicole Campbell. Joshua Luis Carbone. Dakota J. Carey. Abigail Teresa Case. Samantha Gavin Case. Gina May Cavanaugh. Austin John Chapman. Andrea Rose Conger. Devin Austin Cornell. Colin Kelly Coulter. Brianna Renee Corser. Clinton James Cranick. Jessica Helen Cunningham. Yasmin Talia DeBevano. Sarah Ray Dabrowski. Carla. Lynn Davers. Jacob Allen Davis. Samantha Michelle Dalmich. Daniel Francis Del Vecchio. Leah Marie Diffenderfer. Cameron Allen. Drugich. Jacelyn Nicole Dunham. Cameo Mary Ellen Dunn. Lindsay Nicole Dzinski. Amanda Mary Einhauser. Elaine Endicott. Malik Hamid Fahim.
Michael Joseph Pearson. Gage Edwin Fenner. Chad William Ferguson. Marnie Catherine Fedick. Carl Frederick Fisher. Wyatt Cade Gleischer. Rebecca Lauren Francis. Sarah Lynn Franklin. Madigan Kimberly Franco. Craig David Frazee. Rebecca Sue Falker. Anna Marie Gauthier. Courtney Beth Gilbert. Jordan Philip Gilling. Lene, Linnea Elizabeth Gish. Alexis Ann Greer. Anna Christine Gwynn. Devin McKay Hale. Ashley Elizabeth Hollenbeck. Allison Nicole Hamilton. Hayden Scott Hamlin Hookfeld. Lauren Rose Hammond. Cody Patrick Harden. Gage Michael Harris. J. T. Harris. Victoria Nicole Hayes. Haley May Helner. Jacob Billings Hill. <laughs> Kayla Marie Hill. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Howard. <laughs> John Nicholas Herlich. Grace Catherine Hubble. <laughs> Megan Rosin. Hurst. Rachel Janine Hurst. Andrew Eric Andrew Hyatt. Audra Lynn Ireland. Ariel Renee Jackson.
Danae Callie Johnson. Kaylee Amber Johnson. Amanda, Megan Amanda Johnson. Renee Marie Jones. Allison Marie Young. Corey Renee Kaiser. Jenna Lynn Kennedy. Beverly Ann Kimberly. Alicia Renee Kittner. Luke Michael Knickerbocker. Ashley Ruth Knocker. Craig Andrew Cole. Thomas Edward Korleski. Haley Nicole Kaczynski. Erica Nicole Koss. John Allen Koblick. Matthew James Krzyzewski. Emily Catherine Louise Kratz. Jared Jean Kress. Evelina Hilda Johanna Luca Victoria Marie Lambert Janessa Rose Lanza Carly Roxanne Lapeer. Brian Donovan Lawless. Christy Nicole Lee. Teresa Maria Leo. Marissa K. Liberty. Sheila Kirsten Little. Genevieve Secret Lund. Abby Renee McGolan. Jamie Allen Mahan. Jeffrey Eric. Meyer 
80 May Mayor. Edward Scott Marks. Angie Marcou. Lydia Marcou. Ashley Lynn McCarra. Haley Elizabeth McCarthy. Ricky Lynn McClellan. Jerry Lynn Ann McCracken. Alex Christopher McAvoy. Justine Elizabeth McGeary. Connor James McGrath. Marissa Marie McHugh. Madeline Myla McInnes. Delaney Renee McLaughlin. Sarah Elizabeth Meaden. Caitlin Marie Metter. Chelsea Marie Miller. Jared Patrick Miller. Joseph Michael Miller. Lindsay Elizabeth Miller. Megan Marie Miller. Alejandro Martin Miranda. Allison Gail Moore. Matthew James Morris. Thomas J. Morris. Briar Channing Mosier. Ashley, Ashley Elizabeth Morose. Shauna Marie Murphy. Cody Duane Neff Taylor. Sarah Rose Nemchek. Holly Elizabeth Noli. Alexandra Pearl Norton. Anthony James Norton. Ashley Brianna Nugent.
Michael Joseph O'Brien. Jennifer Lynn Olson. Dylan Jeffrey Charles Owen. Ryan Gregory Padoon. Nathaniel William Page. Michael Thomas Palladino, Jr. Michael Christopher Papinov. Kayla Ann Parent. Justin Sayan Patridge. Kelsey Lynn Pearson. Jonathan Daniel Wayne Perkins. Destiny Rochelle Peterson. Crystal Ann Pino. Rachel Marion Pfeiffer. Jordan Christopher Pierce. Alexander Francis Pilgrim. Courtney Inez Plus. Michael Jeffrey Posiniak. Chelsea Malin Powers Collins. Emily Ann Perkliff. David Robert Price. Ryan Luke Pruitt. Randy Jean Putnam. Christina Maria Quintero. Bailey Christine Rotosta. Marilyn Olivia Reinhardt. Lindsay Olivia Reynolds. Nathan Theodore Richards. Brandon Michael Beanie. Anthony John Roman. Casey Daniel Rose. Alyssa Jolyn Ruhlman. Joshua Adam Ruth.
Jeffrey Jarrett Rison. Antonio Mitchell Sanchez. Michaela Charlene Ann Saunders. Robert Allen Shell. Joseph Michael Shaner. Alexandra May Schroeder. Zane Anthony Schubert. Michael Anthony Scott. Mabe Ryan Sharkey. David Michael Short. Jessica Smileski Stores. Bradley Michael Smith. Madison Kathleen Smith. Stephen Trevor Smith. Lat Drew Sorensen Jr. Catherine May Sparks. Chandler Steven Stefan. Bridget Crane Stan. Kaylee Michelle Stembian. Stemson. <laughs> Kayla Marie Stock. <laughs> Brittany Lee Stone. Brian Richard Stover. Justin Todd Straling. Travis J. Sterner. Justin Michael Sotherby. Davis Swales. Brianna Caitlin Swartz. Sarah Ann Sweeney. Gabriel Dalton Taylor. Matthew Thomas Terry. Cody Levi Thornton. Paige Megan Tigner. Peter John Tuzinski. Lee 
Lynn Michelle Van Wy. Morgan Hannah Brunch. Shelby Brooke Wagner. Sean Christopher Ryan Walker. Ashley Kathleen Wallace. Caitlin Marie Walliman. Sarah Reed Weideman. Jake Allen Weingartz. Jordan Ronald Walston. Stephanie Marie Wilcox. Timothy Robert Wildy. Brock Stephen Wilkinson. Nicholas Dable Williams. Mackenzie Ryan Wilson. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Wyrick. Gentlemen, I'd like to close the ceremony 
But I'm wishing all the graduates good luck in every future endeavor. I would also like to thank all of you for joining us today and supporting as you have. I ask the audience to please remain seated as the graduates depart. These words by the Chairs and Demos Poet yesterday as Ralph Walter Emerson reflect my wishes for these graduates today. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. We want you guys to be leaders. Don't settle with simply follow. Go out and make us all proud. Thank you for all you have been and especially for all you will be. Make sure parents and everybody as you're driving back graduates be safe. Have that to appear. We want to see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much.